What better thing to do in the middle of three projects than start another project? There's yeah. nothing better. Nothing. Nothing better. It's time. All right, spare parts garage rundown. We still have 82. Uh, we've got the spork that uh, everyone seems to, to love. So good to see that, good to see that. We have the ombre that uh, is leaking oil, but running quite nicely. If it's leaking oil, that means it has oil. That's right. And this, my friends, is the Betty White. Now, it's kind of a, a, a torturous path the way that Betty White and I came together, but the short story is, you may remember uh, Young Gun from our earlier episodes. Young ago. Buck. Young Buck. Uh, he drove it for a while and then decided he wanted to move to a bigger vehicle. Sold it, uh, I took pity on him and bought it. Was gonna give it to number one son. He drove it for a while and complained that it didn't get good enough gas mileage. So he gave it back, so I got a free truck. <laughs> Uh, a, a free truck? A free truck, yes. Okay. Uh, a free truck. So, um, uh, Betty White is going to be undergoing uh, some transformation here. We're going to get started to uh, rebuild the front end because this pulling really hard to the right. Probably a ball joint has gone out long ago. So, we're going to fix that and we're also going to lower it a little bit to, to get a, a better stance. Um, those are the first steps to becoming the Black Betty. Uh, we're going to do an LS swap. It's going to become the hauler for all the other projects and boats and things that we have to haul around. So this is how we're going to do it. We're also going to redo the interior. We'll take you through all that stuff. Nothing better than starting another project in the middle of three projects. Yeah. Hey guys, if you haven't checked out Snydertron 3000, you really ought to give it a try. Josh really does some amazing work. Uh, he's got several projects going at any given time. Honestly, I don't know how he does it all. He juggles a family, life, and still gets more done out in the garage in a week that I get done all year. He's got Goldie Hawn, Jack Black, James Brown, and he also had his own Betty White, 96 Pontiac Firebird. Josh, I hope that you will take our Betty White as an homage. Please keep in mind that our Betty White is all about the transformation into the Black Betty. Keep doing what you're doing. We're huge fans of your channel, Snydertron 3000. As soon as this video is over, go check him out. All right, let's check out Betty White's engine bay. Screaming V6 power stockety stock so this is all temporary this is the way it was the way it will be is much different definitely replace this power plant an ls variety i think we should go 6.0 this time uh, because we're going to be using it to haul stuff and we're thinking about also a supercharger a good thought we want to keep uh, those positive thoughts coming positive supercharged thoughts positive supercharged thoughts uh, somewhere in the forward. range of oh 15 psi maybe um yeah, yeah. That'll probably be summer of 2023. Where my... can we find a six liter? Hmm. Hmm. Well, uh, we could go visit our friends at Wrench Apart. Need a part, Wrench Apart, Highly 71 in Dale Valley. Quite possible, maybe not plausible, but quite possible that we could have this running with a new engine in time for Cruising Ghost. Uh, you notice I did not say what year. In, in time for a cruising the coast. Well, I think cruising the coast. Yes. <laughs> One of these years. One of these years. No, I think it can. Ha I think it can happen pretty quick uh, with some uh, uh, dedicated effort. Here's the deal. This is my daily driver, so it's either this or Scarlett Johansson. I don't like to leave Scarlett <laughs> at the bus stop where I park and ride. So we're gonna have to figure out a way to swap the engine very quickly. Yes very fast. It's going to have to be like a, a bit of the old in and out as it works. It's well supported, the OBS LS swap, been done to death and there's lots of parts available. Sure, and if it's been done to death, then that's the kind of project we should do. Well documented and other people have failed before. That's the plans for uh, the uh, Betty White transformation into the Black Betty. We'll keep you posted as we progress. First we're going to pull the old steering components out, uh, rebuild all that, new shocks, lower truck a little bit, two inches in the front, four inches in the back, give it a little bit better stance. You don't like this. That's a good thing. Last thing you want is a story. <laughs> there we 
breads is one time with Christmas bread. <laughs> Camp day three, Betty White edition. Mike is working on the passenger side. We had to use a spring compressor to get the spring in this one, and removing the spring compressor is proving somewhat challenging. Today's challenge is brought to you by the letter F U. <laughs> So Mike's real pleased about that particular job. Uh, this side went together surprisingly easy. No spring compressor needed over here. We just popped it all back together. Uh, but that other side has proven challenging. Anyway, we've got all this back together. I am about to knock out the old bearing and race out of that hub and replace it with brand new stuff put on that brand new spindle and then we're going to start working on this gap back here <laughs> and take about four inches out of that we've got much 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 to do so nothing says holiday cheer like cleaning your rotors and packing your bearings and that's exactly what we've been doing. One side of the Betty White went together really easy. The other side, not so much. I know this does not make it go any faster, but it will cut down on the wear on the passenger side front tire, which is was uh, pulling um, uh, to the right tremendously. Hasn't been aligned in years. So uh, we're gonna fix that and it's gonna sit a little bit lower. It's gonna look good when we get finished. It will look better. One person could probably do this job. <laughs> um, Two makes it a little bit easier, especially when you're messing around with spring compressors and jacks and trying to get everything right. It looks so much easier in the video. One real mechanic would have had this done a day and a half ago. Well, so two, two. half fast mechanics don't make one fast mechanic. I know two wrongs don't make a right. There's no way around that. So we do have other plans for the Betty White. This may be all that we can do this week, uh, but this has been a, a pretty fruitful car camp. This is definitely all we can do this week. Yeah. We are gonna continue on to the rear. Yeah, we'll get to that in a bit. I'm gonna have to uh, skate around the other direction. Look at that. This takes a high degree of dexterity, boys and girls. But that's pretty much how it goes together. Not too much to it. Do it right the first time. It's all good. It's all part of the hobby. <laughs> it is indeed part of the hobby. Hell yeah. Mike's removing the rear shocks. I've already been grinding rivets on the fronts up here. I'm laying in rivet dust. You are laying in rivet dust. We forgot rear bearing seals, so. Mike's wife was nice enough to run and pick those up so that we can put those on and not sling grease everywhere. And then the front will be done. And on the back, I am grinding rivets. I've grind those two rivets. Now I need to grind those two rivets. <laughs> To do that, I'm gonna take out the spring. Times, good times. Good times and SPG. And then we'll replace those brackets and the shackles on the back. Free me from my shackles. Free me from little short shackles and put on longer shackles so that we lower the truck. That is gonna be done today. 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 It has to be done today. Today. <laughs> you really don't have a choice. Nine o'clock at night, working on the back. Front is all together, needs grease and a wheel. That's good. And we have to tighten, once we get weight on everything, we need to tighten all the control lines. We are about to get the front springs done, and then we have to get the shackles out for the rears and replace them with those shackles. And then we can call this job done. Car camp day four. Betty White is sassy. 
So you push this back. Front end is done. We just have to put grease in it and then do a final bolt tightening. And the rear, we got the front bracket done. On that other side, we're about to work on bolting this bracket on on this side. And then we have to worry about the shackles replacing those in the back. And then it should be done. Better car can you move for. Excellent. We can finish the show. <laughs> Thank God. <laughs> Let's do exactly that. Let's finish this job. All right, not as much to do, but much to do. looks much better all right uh, put on some clothes that you can sit in it with it is hard to yeah <laughs> so that will be yeah. one more cotter key one more. 